What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering the new Gold Hen Cheat Manager by Damien Perino, who is the same developer behind the Apollo Save Tool. He has basically come out and created this cheat manager for the Gold Hen Cheats. So if you haven't watched it already, I did a video showing the Gold Hen Cheat Menu, uh, which is built into Gold Hen version 2.2, which allows you to apply cheats to your games. It's much easier than having to use things like the PS4 Trainer with WebRTE. So it's kind of like an evolution on that now that the cheats are kind of built into Gold Hen. The problem is you still have to add the cheats manually. So the cheat menu is built into Gold Hen, but the cheats still have to be added manually, which some people don't like. Whereas this homebrew app basically fixes that for you. You can just run this cheat manager and then select an option which will download the latest cheats. So whenever new cheats get added, you can just run the homebrew app, click a button, and you'll get all the latest cheats downloaded directly to your PS4 without you having to copy anything over manually. So yeah, it's a very awesome homebrew app. It is a public beta right now. It's not the full release, but it does work pretty damn well even as a beta. So let's get into this. So what you're going to want to do is obviously download the public beta of the Gold Hen Cheats Manager. So download that to your computer and then put that package file on a USB drive, of course, making sure the USB drive is always either XFAT or FAT32 format. And then all we're going to do is just drag that package file over to the root of the drive and, of course, eject the drive and plug it into the PS4. Of course, you can copy it over using other things like the remote package installer, internal package installer, or maybe it's available in the homebrew store by the time you're watching this and you can just download it from there. But uh, anyway, we're going to plug this USB back into our PS4. And of course, from here, we're going to go onto our internet browser, load up your exploit page, whichever one you're using, like caro218.ir, and then just make sure you run the Gold Hen version 2.2, or the latest version of Gold Hen that's available to jailbreak your system. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead and install the Homebrew app by going to Settings, going down to Debug Settings, Game and Package Installer, and then installing the Gold Hen Cheats homebrew app the gold hen cheats manager should i say so yeah there we go so we've now got it, got it installed right here so just to showcase i don't have any cheats on the system right now if i go ahead and load resident evil 3 which is on version 1.03 and this is title id cusa 14168 so i'm going to run this version of resident evil 3 okay so here we are loaded up into the game and as you can see if i hold down the uh, share button which opens up the cheats. You can see cheats not found for this title ID slash version. So we have no cheats installed for this game. I don't have any cheats installed for any games right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close the application and we'll get some cheats installed using the Gold Hen Cheats Manager. So we're going to run the Gold Hen Cheats Manager right here. So when you load it up, you can see that it is based on the Apollo Save Tool. You know, he's used the Apollo Save Tool homebrew as like a template to create this. So it's, you know, just as responsive, just as good as the Apollo save tool. So what we can do is head into the about section so you can see uh, all the people, you know, who are relevant in developing this. Obviously, you've got um, Damien Perino, who did the PS4 Cheats Manager, CTN123 with the Cheat Engine, Shin Shinigami with the Cheat Engine as well, and of course, Sistro for Gold Hen Cheat Menu, and also Chameleon for QA support as well. So yeah, anyway, that is what we've got right there. So now let's have a look. Now there is music playing in the background. If you don't like that kind of key gen music, you can turn it off by going into the settings and just disabling the background music right there. I quite like it, so I'm just going to leave it on. So from here, there's a few settings that don't work right now. There's the online database. So this is something that's going to be probably very similar to the online database in the Apollo save tool where you can download save files you know, pre-modded save files and apply them to your games. Uh, this will be pretty much the same thing for cheats. So you can go to the online database and download a cheat or download maybe a whole cheat package of a bunch of different cheats for your games. So that'll probably be implemented once this comes out of beta. You can just go into the online database and download whatever cheats or cheat packages you want for your games. And then you've got cheats themselves. If I select this, you can see no cheat codes found right now because I don't have any cheats installed. So to get the cheats, all you have to do is run the update option. So when you select this, this will download all of the cheats from the internet, from the server. And there we go, successfully installed local copy. And that's it, all the cheats have now been downloaded. It only takes a few seconds. If we head to the cheats section now, 
you can see all of these cheats now show up. And what's cool about this, of course, is that it shows the title ID. You've got the, the game title, the title ID, and the version number. So you don't have to go into like the PS4 trainer to see, you know, does this is this game supported or not? You can just check by going through this. You can use a uh, right trigger and left trigger to skip through a lot faster. So for example, we're looking for Resident Evil 3, which should be right here. There we go. So there's two for Resident Evil 3. CUSA 14168, which is the version I'm on. And of course, it's for version 1.03. So both of these cheats should work right here for my version. So obviously your game has to match. In order for the cheat to work, your game has to be for the same title ID, CUSA 14168 in this case. And the game version has to match as well, 1.03. If either one of those are different, then you run the risk of obviously things crashing when you try to enable them in game, um, which can happen anyway. Not all of the cheats are perfect. So, you know, not all of the cheats have been, you know, verified that every option is going to work. Sometimes you'll get a crash that happens. In order to minimize your chance of crashing, then it's good to make sure that the game version and the title ID version match. If you hit triangle, it gives you a path, a file path of where that cheat is installed. So you can see that's in the JSON folder. And then also, uh, that'll go back, it takes a few seconds. Also, you can select the cheat itself. So this gives you all the cheats that are currently in this particular trainer that I've selected. And of course, if I want to be able to actually see the code, I can just hit triangle and it gives me the actual code. So I've got the offset, the memory address, and the value that it's writing into that memory address to turn uh, the cheat on and off. So it gives me that information right there as well. So that's basically what's built into the uh, Gold Hen Cheat Manager right now. Again, this is a public beta, so more options will be added in a future version once it comes out of beta and we get an official release. So really the only thing that you need to use is the update option. So if you wanna just update the cheats, you just run this homebrew application, you run the update command and it will go ahead and update all the cheats. So it'll fill up all those folders with all the different cheats from various different trainers uh, that it has stored on its server. And that's it. You just run it once, it installs all the cheats, and now your gold hen cheat menu is full of loads and loads of different trainers uh, for various different games. So that's all you really have to do right there. We can go ahead and uh, close out of the cheat manager now, and we'll go back into Resident Evil now that we've ran that update command and see if the cheats are now there. So we're back in the game, so I'm going to hold down the share button. And as you can see, this time we have got the actual cheat menu there. We'll just uh, quickly turn on easy kill and uh, infinite ammo clip. So we'll turn both of those on and press circle. That gets us back into the game. And one hit kill. And we've got our infinite ammo here as well. So yeah, that is basically it. That is how you use the new cheat manager app by um, Damien Perino. An awesome little homebrew app that makes it much easier to install the cheats. Of course, in my original video on the Gold Hen cheats, we were having to install all of the cheats manually by copying all the JSON files over to the folder, the data folder on uh, your PS4 hard drive through FTP or by copying them with PS4 Explorer or some other method or copying them over via USB. Whereas now you don't have to do that. You can just run this homebrew app, click one button, it will update from the internet with all the latest cheats that are available. That way you don't have to constantly be thinking about it yourself, thinking about, wait, are there any new cheats available now? Maybe I should check and download them and install them. You don't really have to do that. You can just, you know, if it's been a while, you can just run the cheat manager, run the update command and let it install all the latest cheats that are currently available. So you could just run it every week or something and get all the latest cheats downloaded automatically. Plus, it's handy that it has those extra features built in as well, being able to view all of the different cheats and, you know, what title ID they're for, what game version they're for, as well as it also allowing you to actually view all the different cheat codes without, you know, actually running the game to check. Or, or you can, of course, also do things like, um, you know, view the actual code of the cheat itself, seeing what the memory address is that it's being written to and what data has been written to that memory address and whatnot. So you can check that as well. That is all built in. And I'm sure the online database will be a handy feature once this comes out of public beta. And once we actually get some, some you know, cheats added or cheat 
I don't know if he's going to do cheat packages or just individual cheats that you can download from the online database eventually once that feature is available. But, uh, you know, I'm sure that will be a popular feature once that's been implemented. So, yeah, anyway, awesome stuff right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.